You ever look at a piece of shit up close? Pop the hood. On it. I don't know how to pop the hood. Damn it. Got it. Here it is. Ooh. GM's 3.0 Duramax. We're not doing the pointer thing again. No. You're done with this thing. Hey everybody, Kyle and the Keystone Girl here with Spicer Designs. I thought I took that from you. <gasps> Welcome back to the channel. All right, now before we get started on all the reasons of why I hate this piece of 3.0 Duramax, I just wanna say I love GM trucks. Some of my most current trucks were a 2016 three quarter ton Duramax. It was a really nice truck. After that, I had an 84 K10, another really cool truck. Then I got a 2021 Trail Boss with a 6.2 liter in it. I sold that one back to Chevy for more money during the chip shortage. Then I picked up the 04 Duramax, which you've probably seen in some of my other videos. And my most current truck, of course, is the 2020 half ton Silverado with the 3.0 Duramax in it. Ooh, look at that booty. Mm. Booty, booty, booty. Now, other than the motor, this is actually a pretty cool truck. You might remember uh, one of my previous videos where the Keystone Girl and I did some upgrades to this truck after I had purchased it. You might say we gave it a little facelift. Now, I had pretty high hopes for this 3.0 Duramax. I was very curious about this engine, and it was supposed to be good with towing and fuel mileage, just an all-around good fit for what I was looking for. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. All right, nestle it up right by your bosom. Booby. Oh, that oh, works. Oh, yeah, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what to look at. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk some numbers. Right from the dealer, you're going to be paying an extra $2,500 over the standard 5.3 liter, which is the most common engine that we would typically get in the half ton series Silverado. And that is the most comparable engine to the 3.0 Duramax. So right off the bat, you're paying an extra 2,500 bucks just to have that Duramax. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the additional things that you're gonna need when owning a diesel. Keystone Girl, would you mind grabbing me the DEF fluid and the Dexos oil, please? Sure. There you go. Honey, that's a jack stand and that's armor all. It says right on there, armor all. Do you wanna try uh, again? Yeah, give me another shot. Got a little weight to it, huh? It, it does. Now, when owning a newer diesel, you're going to need DEF fluid, which is diesel exhaust fluid. And for this 3.0 Duramax, you're going to need a specific oil, which is OW20 Dexos D oil. There's a Dexos 1 oil and Dexos D. You got to make sure there's a D in it. So let's talk some numbers on these two items. All right, here we're going to be comparing the 5.3 liter, which is the most common in the half tons, and the crappy 3.0 Duramax. Now, like I said, all newer diesels are gonna require death fluid unless you have them deleted, which is a no-no. Fucking EPA. So starting with death fluid, the 5.3 gas engine doesn't require death fluid. The 3.0 Duramax does. Now this jug of death fluid is two and a half gallons. Two and a half gallons cost anywhere from $17 to $30. $17 is what you're gonna find if you go to AutoZone, a Menards, somewhere like that. $30 is what you're gonna spend if you get in a pinch and you have to go to the gas station to get it. Now the DEF fluid tank in this half ton 3.0 Duramax is about 5.3 gallons, so you would need just a little bit more than two of these containers, which will put you anywhere in the $34 to $60 range to fill up that tank. Now a full tank on the 3.0 Duramax is good for about 1,000 to 1,200 miles. Now if you run the truck too low on death fluid, it'll go into a limp mode, and that's basically telling you it will not drive at full speed anymore. You need to get to a gas station or somewhere and put more death fluid in it. Next thing would be fuel costs. Current gas prices on average in Indiana, which is where we're at right now, are around $3.50 a gallon. The current diesel prices are around $4.20 a gallon, and that is in May of 2023. Now, like I mentioned with the oil, this 3.0 Duramax is specific to the OW20 Dexos D oil, and that's gonna run you about 12 bucks a quart. It's pretty pricey. But on the other hand, the 5.3 liter gas engines, they require OW20 as well, but it's a Dexos 1 oil, 
and those are gonna run you right around the same amount of money. God! It's really fun having to <laughs> go pick these things up, dump it in there with the little tube. Left big city for the simple country life. And another fun fact about deaf fluid is it is synthetic cat piss. You should buy some cats. Have you ever cats. been pissed on by a cat? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's synthetic cat piss. My dad told me that. Well, did you Google it to confirm it? He Googled it when, we were, when I was moving. It's from felines, and they synthetically make it, which I don't know how the hell you do that. 67.5% water, 32.5% wow. oh, urine, urea, <laughs> which I'm guessing is a fancy <laughs> word for piss. Yeah. <laughs> well, what the hell am I paying? <laughs> 17 to $30 for 60% of water? 67. It's a freaking racket. Piece of shit. All right, now let's talk about performance. All right, now I'm gonna allow you to have the pointer, but don't abuse it. Okay. Okay? Okay? I promise. Okay. All right, so here we are comparing the 5.3 liter gas with the 3.0 Duramax. Starting with the miles per gallon, you're looking at 17 miles in the city and 23 in the highway. That is with the stock gas, no modifications. And the Duramax, you're looking at 23 in the city and 33 on the highway. So obviously we could see that the Duramax gets better fuel mileage, but there are some other things that go along with it. Now we go to towing. You can see that the 5.3 gas clearly beats the Duramax with over 2,000 pounds of towing capacity at 11,500 versus the Duramax at 9,500 pounds. Moving down to the torque, the 5.3 gas is coming in at 383 foot-pounds of torque versus the Duramax at 460 foot-pounds of torque. Obviously the Duramax beats it on that one, but the 5.3 gas still has a higher towing capacity. So I don't know how you say one's better than the other when it comes to those two stats. Now I did a little math here. I'm not going to explain how I did it, but we're going to take 300 mile trip and compare these. We got 300 miles on the gas at 17 miles per gallon and that's at $3.50 per gallon for fuel. That comes out to $61.76 for a 300 mile trip. Moving over to the Duramax, on a 300 mile trip at 23 miles per gallon at $4.20 per gallon for fuel, you also have to add in the money for normal oil consumption, which is a thing on these Duramaxes, and that comes out to about $4 per 300 miles for oil. Then you have to add the DEF fluid cost, which works out to about $4.25 for DEF fluid per 300 miles, with a grand total of $63 for a 300 mile trip. I'm gonna try out this pointer. <laughs> now even though these stats are pretty comparable in performance and in cost, the part that sucks about this thing is the fact that you have to deal with the DEF fluid and the oil consumption constantly making sure you have death fluid on hand. I had to make sure I had three or four quarts of oil in the truck at all times, or if I had a gas engine, all you gotta do is put gas in it and that's it. And of course, check your oil once in a while, like every three months. Still smells funny. <laughs> now let's talk about why these two items suck so bad on this Duramax. Now I did a lot of towing with this truck when we were moving from Northern Indiana down to Southern Indiana. It was about a four hour drive and I was pulling a trailer every time. So I was really able to test this truck out on all of its abilities. This motor has a normal oil consumption. Now when you're towing with it, it's even more. I was putting a quart of oil in every 500 miles. Now this truck takes seven quarts of oil on a normal oil change. So if you do the math on a 5,000 mile interval between oil changes, Basically, you're looking at like 17 quarts of oil, seven for the original oil change and an additional 10 quarts of oil being every 500 miles for that 5,000. Now, when you're not towing, the oil consumption is not as much. One of the reasons I liked this truck was for the towing capabilities. So I was very disappointed on how much oil this thing took. You cannot find this oil hardly anywhere. I really had to hunt for this. All of the auto parts stores in the area that we're in now don't even carry this. I went in and asked them if they had it and they looked at me like I was an idiot, which I am. We know. So I had to make sure that I purchased this oil when I was up north because that's the only place I could find it. I couldn't even find it on Amazon. Now the same thing with the DEF fluid. When I was moving, I was towing a lot 
and it consumed more death fluid. I was putting in two and a half gallons of death fluid basically every 500 miles, if not less than that even. And it was a massive pain in the ass. Now another very important thing to truck owners is sound. Let's go ahead and do a cold start. You hear that? Yeah, neither do I. Now if you like your truck to have some sound, this thing clearly does not have it. I've literally heard more growl coming from my six-year-old daughter passing wind. Now I've watched some other videos where guys have put other exhaust systems on these trucks and you're not really getting much more sound even out of an aftermarket exhaust Daddy? system. Daddy? Hold on honey, I'm filming right now. So if that's what Daddy? you're looking at... What? I think I started. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's, go, let's go find mommy. All right, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Now I don't press this issue much, please like these videos if you do like them. We put a lot of work into them. If you enjoy what we're doing and you like the content that we're providing, please just hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Now if you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. These things really help our channel out and kind of rewards us for all the effort that we put into this and it's very much appreciated. And if you don't like our videos, well, I don't really care. Now with all that being said, this truck is for sale. It's actually been a really great truck, so if anyone's interested. So hopefully I was able to provide you with some good information on this 3.0 Duramax versus the 5.3 gas engine. Now I know I joked around a lot in this video, but I really do hate this truck. Not so much the truck, but the engine. When I was moving, it was a very stressful time, and there were a couple times where I actually thought about driving it off the cliff. But I needed it to move. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. I like it. <laughs> not too many. Oh my god. I'm not a professional at this. I'm not making fun of you. All right. Was that you or me? That was you, you idiot. I couldn't tell. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of felt good. <laughs> All right, climb up, and I'm gonna have you lay on your side. Oh, it's gonna be chilly. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Wait. What do you got going on right here? <laughs> what do you mean? I just wanted to double check and see what was going on. Oh, okay. One and a Dexos D. Good luck finding Dex. This is right in front of your face the whole time. <laughs> 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 Damn it. Oh, you make me sound like an idiot? Yeah. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> you do have a mic on, so just don't. I don't breathe heavy like you do. It again. Maybe we could use this tonight in the bedroom. Ooh. Tickle, tickle. Now these bad boys, they require some oil once in a while. <laughs> <laughs>